So this is the second in the series of blue scale fingerings. In video number one, we did five scales based on the white notes. That was C blues, D, E, and G, and finally A. So that would be C, D, E, G and A. These all involve four note finger groups, meaning in C, for instance, you can hit four notes and four more. And this is all part of a game of how to play piano very effectively and very fast. The name of the game is to get as many notes under the hand in one handful as you can before putting thumb under to move to another position. In other words, a lot of people learn the blues scale as being four notes in C, for instance, and then only two more. Thumb under, thumb under, thumb under. So you get a lot of busyness in crab walking and an artificial view of the musical universe, meaning that everything ends in one octave. Well, that really cramps your vision in your ears because on saxophone or guitar, they don't have to stop and regroup every octave. So what we did was do four note groups already with just uh, two handfuls I'd already gotten myself into the second octave. Well, today's scales are what I call the baby fingering scales. There's only three note groups. So we'll go back to the four note groups in the last video of the series, video number three. Today we'll do um, F. F blues scale is a three note group, followed by another three note group. So it's one, two, three, one, two, four. So it's one, two, three, one, two, four all the time. The next one will be a little more difficult and has more black notes involved. That will be B flat. Same fingering. One, two, three. One, two, four. If you just stop with the little finger in the octave, it's not hard at all. But let's go up two octaves. You have to go to thumb and a black note. It's here. You got to go there. You got to really jump, and you're back in business. So the trick is to quickly move and touch the wood with your third finger. Do that. Touch the wood as you should. And you can just jump right to it. Okay, on to E flat. This is even worse. The black keys. One, two, three. One, two, four. You jump up and touch the wood. Down here. Next is B. Actually harder. Not too many white notes in this one, so it's one, two, three. One, two, four. As you do these, they don't sound very musical. You can travel quickly in some of these, but let's start spicing up a little bit, making music out of it. Let's go to uh, F, for instance. You notice that when we play music and licks and F, you don't really use these fingerings. So what did I use there? I used index finger like a beginning piano player because I was hitting a series of F's as harmonies above it. Or 
could put also the seventh E flat. So the scales are good for as an informational thing, as an inventory of notes, but you will rarely use the blue scale any more than you ever use a major scale very often. Finally, before we move on to the really hard stuff in the next video, let's talk about an alternate use of the minor blue scale. Here's E minor. Now, if you play an E minor chord, if you add one more note under it, a C, you really have a C major seventh. So a C major seventh harmony is really just an E minor chord with an extra note put in the bottom. So if you have come across a bland, lyrical, quote, pretty C major seventh chord, if you're wondering what to do, just start wailing, testifying on the E minor blues scale. Trying a little bit of um, a misty, right? Major seventh, which is A minor, and I'm A minor chord, really. So you get two meals for the price of one here. You get a double payoff if you work up an E minor blue scale. You can do jams on E minor, E seventh, either one, all day long. Or you can go to another emotional spectrum completely and use the E minor as part of a C major seventh. Okay, so today we did F, B flat, E flat, and B. And they all use the small three note groups, which uh, is easier to learn in about a minute, but then you're really kind of stuck by doing a lot of crab walking. So one thing you can do is using E flat, an example is after the first group of three, Use all five fingers on the next five uh, blues notes. So if you're just going up several octaves, you just use the three note groups as we talked about. But if you just want to stay still, you can just use as many notes as you can, but you get started, you get a kickoff from using thumb on E flat. Or another idea is to really start with a thumb on another note such as D flat and try four notes. And the next five notes. So four note group followed by fiver. It sounds like you're really fast. But it's just changing the philosophy from crab walking in a clumsy kind of a beginning piano player fashion to using as many as you can. In video number three, we'll go on to the really hard stuff, but it does get back to the large groups. That would be G sharp minor, F sharp minor, and C sharp minor. Okay, thanks for watching.